Hey yo guys and gals, Blue Uriel here, coming to you from Subnautica on the same day. I was so hyped about getting the mobile vehicle bay and possibly the Seamoth in this episode that I just had to start recording again. Ready to do this? I sure am. Let's get right into it. Same save, same thing. We're gonna start off right where we left off. Hopefully my game won't crash this time because it literally just did. Got the beautiful Aurora right here, yet again, crashing into the planet. Poor thing, poor, poor fish ship, doesn't, doesn't know what it's doing. Clearly the captain, captain, unfortunate captain, poor captain, died soon after the crash. I don't know what happened to him, never learned what happened to the poor guy. Just, I'm ready for this. I'm so hyped, I just cannot wait for the save time, or the, let's say, loading time to get right on in there. I honestly wish that it was faster. Good thing we have this wonderful, beautiful music here in the background. Props to whatever composer made the music for this game. Shut the fuck up, Java. I don't give a shit. I can't see my goddamn cursor. I just want this stupid thing. Here we go, back in the game. Let's go listen to that recording. No, not recording. Let's go listen to that. Let's go listen to the distress signal. Who's calling? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... How many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I... So are all the others. Oh man. Oh man, I really hate the sunbeam. To all those who don't know, I'm not gonna spoil it, but this is a sad time, ladies and gentlemen. I I am not looking forward to that ship coming down to this planet and picking me up. It's just it's it's not good. This Subnautica is a very sad game, very emotional game for me, and I'm I'm looking forward to the beautiful art of this game, showing me exactly what it can do, but I am not looking forward to having to face the emotional trauma that I constantly face while having to play Subnautica. Not having to, playing it completely willingly and not by the jest, the behest of anyone else involved. No one else is involved in this. I'm not lying to you in order, in order to cover up for anything else. Let's go, let's go get some creep vine seed clusters in order to make some lubricant. We can finally get on in on that mobile vehicle bay. That's right, we got the mobile vehicle bay fragments in the last episode, and right now, today, I am going to complete that mission. We're gonna complete that mission and get ourselves a sea moth in the next at least 15 minutes. You ready for this? Because I sure am ready for this. We can have some fun riding around in our, our white submarine. You know what I'm looking forward to? After that, after we get the sea moth, we are going to get the moon pool. And the moon pool crafting, whatever the heck it's called. I really don't know. But the moon pool crafting, whatever the heck it's called. I am going to make that submarine so, such crazy colors. It's going to be yellow, it's going to be blue, it's going to be red, it's going to be me going to stop talking and actually doing what I said I'd do. Ha, huh, I actually have to complete other things first. First, we're going to make a battery. Then we're going to get some silicone rubber from this storage containment unit over here. Peeper? Of course I'm gonna get a peeper. I'm hungry. I need food. Jeff is a person that survives. You hear that? The, if you didn't know previously what we've decided collectively, me, myself, and I have decided this character's name is, at least for this game, is Jeff. Jeff here is a very intelligent individual who will be able to get off this planet. If not by the sun being another, uh, definitely another way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got we got some lubricant, we got a power cell, and we got a titanium ingot. 
Are you ready to see this? Are you ready for the mobile vehicle bay? There it goes. It's building itself. It's kind of amazing, this future technology that allows lasers to build things out of solid objects, possibly using E equals MC square or something like that. I don't really know much about science or technology, but converting light into matter seems like it would take a ton of energy, wouldn't it? Haha! <laughs> Let's see about this. Let's drop this mobile vehicle bay. That's not right. Haha. <laughs> no, we have to release it. We gotta get put it into slot one and release this thing out into the ocean. Let's do this. There we go. You see that? The mobile vehicle bay is up and ready for business. Let's see what we need for the Seamoth. Let's get right on in there. Here we have the Seamoth, ladies and gentlemen. Titanium ingot, power cell, glass times two, lubricant, and lead. We have all of the materials needed for this wonderful vehicle, and we are going to get right on in that right as soon as I get enough titanium to complete this task. But because I already know what I'm doing in this game so well, I am so fantastic at Subnautica, I already know exactly what I'm going to try to do at the moment. Let's, let's make this titanium into titanium. That's right, we're breaking down these metal salvage parts into their components and making ourselves a titanium ingot out of the scrap iron or scrap titanium, I should say, that we receive from those parts. Those parts, unfortunately, which are from the giant crashed Aurora that's right over there. It's very fortunate that that ship did not completely blow up because otherwise, me, myself, and I would be... Man, I was on such a roll just then. That 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 went on for like that went on for way too long. Anyway. What was I doing? I if I if I talk constantly, excitedly, like some like some insane person that just took took an entire nose full, possibly three, possibly four lines of cocaine. If I talk like that, I actually remember what I'm saying because I'm verbally and soundfully, that's not a word, it, that I'm actually computing the information that's going through my head by putting it out into a source which I can actually understand outwardly and not just as random signals that my brain is sending out. So honestly, let's get some lubricant, let's get our lead. Let's make a sea moth. We already have the glass needed, but I think I should get a little more glass because that glass is already for the aquarium that I want to make in order to house my hoverfish and whole fish. Again, like I said in the other episode, whole fish seem to be extremely rare in Subnautica. I don't think that's actually how it's supposed to be, and if it's not, then I honestly don't know what's going on. Hopefully these fish that I picked up do not have the virus, so my aquarium will not get infected. But fortunately, we have right here, I think the only whole fish and hoverfish in the game. Well, only whole fish in the game, but not the hoverfish, if they still exist. Yeah, here we go. Here are my little buddies right here. Look at, look at him. He's, they're both so cute. I don't know if they're boys or girls or not, or if this is Minecraft logic where anything can breed with anything else. But either way, we still need to get a little bit of titanium. No, we don't. We already have the titanium needed. We need to get a little bit of glass, and we can finally build the seam off after all these episodes of waiting. That's right, guys and girls. Four episodes, and we've already built the seam off. This is not a record, I am fully aware. This is not a speedrun of Subnautica, and I never claimed it was. Let's check again to see what we need for this vehicle. We still need a power cell, lubricant, and glass times too. Thankfully enough, we already have the materials for all of those things. I just need to make two batteries, which is extremely easy, because batteries are only two acid mushrooms and one copper. Thankfully, ladies and gentlemen, I have two acid mushrooms in my inventory at this very moment that you just witnessed me harvest, 
and I definitely have the copper needed for these batteries. Oh, unfortunately, I completely forgot just then that power cells do in fact need... I have received a message, I should say, in my ear from myself that power cells do in fact need silicone rubber in, in order to function. In order to make a power cell, you need two batteries and one silicone rubber. Because I do not have the silicone rubber in my possession, I use all of the silicone rubber that I made in the beginning, I need to get two more pre-prime seeds. I cannot believe I completely forgot about that fact. Hopefully I have enough room in my inventory. That is completely false. I already don't have enough room in my inventory for the discrete fine seeds that I need to complete the seam on. That's unfortunate. It's... Oh my goodness, this is bad. But thankfully, I do have my sea glide. I do have storage units in my base that I built specifically for the purpose of housing materials that I need. So honestly, I think we're okay. We're perfectly kosher, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be able to make this as soon as possible. <laughs> Let's get right into this. Time to get excited for this. I really shouldn't go into my base because that's for storing items. I still need to make the glass and... I still need to make the glass and lubricant that I neglected to make so far. I see right there that before I click that, I need one seed, pre-fine seed cluster for synthetic silicone-based rubber. Thankfully, I don't need a lot of space for that. I just need four spaces. I have the lead, I have the titanium, I have everything else. Now I just need to get one pre-fine seed and we can get right on into that submarine, riding around like the Beatles said something. They said something. I don't actually listen to music that old that often. Except, except that one song. That one song. What's that song called? Ha! You wouldn't know what I'm talking about because I am trying to reference something that's happening inside of my own head right now. But, I honestly cannot draw the information out of my brain. So, we'll just have to ignore that side plot of this story and go on to the next main aspect. Right there, the seed, creep vine seed cluster glorious yellow glow. Let's pick that right up, and we can run away from this stalker and go right back to our life pod. And fabricate ourselves, fabricate ourselves some silicone rubber, and we can get right on into that submarine. How many times have I said that so far? I really don't know. We can, we can do this. This is fine. Everything is good. Gotta get some peepers, though. Hi! My character right here. Starting to get a little thirsty, but I do have water in my inventory. So I really don't have to worry about that. That peeper can go. Didn't I already have a dead peeper in my inventory from last episode? I don't know what I did with that. I think that was the peeper that I cooked very... Just a little bit earlier. So, because peepers also give you water, I don't need to drink any of the water in my inventory. Water doesn't spoil, so it's good to save it up for just a little while before I end up using it. Now that I have these two batteries that I'm making right now, I can make the power cell. The power cell being something that I have to make silicone rubber for. Sorry about that, I completely forgot a step. Here we go, There, there's the power cell. It's a big chunky thing, kind of like the battery, but a lot bigger. Looks like we have everything that we need. Let's see about this. Where where did I put my mobile vehicle bay? It's right over there. You know what I really want to show you? Some glorious creatures called reefbacks. They're big squid things. Kinda like um kinda like shellfish that float along the ocean. They are Leviathan-class organisms, but they are not dangerous at all, unlike all of the other Leviathan- I'll shut up for a second. Hey yo, I had to cut this short because the episode was too long. Episodes 4 and 5 will be cut up into two parts. Thanks for watching.